How's it going? This is the multi-block tutorial build for the diesel generator multi-block. So the main thing you need to make is this diesel engine controller here. And you'll see the recipe is a lot of titanium. Two EV pistons, two EV motors, two titanium gears, a tungsten steel cable, EV machine haul, and a data orb. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is make you a nice little circle of those, or square, and that goes in the dead center. This is a 3 by 3 by 4 so you want to build your regular turbine type shape here with all the casings on the edges and then the bottom two your inner ones here are going to be these gear casings The back is where the dynamo goes. As of build 24, 23 or 24, uh, they both came out at the same time. Uh, these multi blocks will blow up if the dynamo cannot output as much power as the multi block can produce or is producing. Um, I was giving a little bit of a fact sheet on the diesel generator here. So this EV dynamo will put out like exactly what this thing can run. So you may want to go with an IV. Now you're going to need a maintenance hatch, an input hatch. Now there is an option for oxygen, so you may want a third input hatch, but for this build I'm doing the minimal, which is two of them, and then up on top you're going to have another casing, and then finally a muffler right here, and you'll notice after that everything will turn to the pretty titanium pink. Go to the front. It'll not say that there's. It's an incomplete structure. So you'll do all of your maintenance things. Hit it with a soft hammer on the front to get it enabled. Now, you'll need to give this some type of fuel. And the fuels that are allowed are diesel, ethanol light fuel, sulfuric light fuel, and nitro diesel. And it will produce 2048 EU a tick, which is exactly, like I said, what this dynamo hatch at EV can handle. Now, you can also give it oxygen, which is what the optional intake is for, which will give the boost of three times and fuels increase fuel consumption by 30 percent now the other intake that is required is for lubricant you will have to supply this thing with lubricant so make sure you have a good lubricant supply to supply it a good fuel supply because it will not start producing energy until it uh, warms up basically so I don't have the stuff to actually run it set up uh, what I'm going to do in my world uh, what I normally don't show you in these little tutorials but I do want to show you for this is I have one distillation tower set up and a cracking unit and everything here in the middle to take it down to the regular fuels 
This is the sulfuric heavy fuel, which goes to regular fuel. And then the cracking unit is going to crack the heavy fuel. And I'm going to make a second tower to run the, heavy, the cracked heavy fuel in. And I'll show you why here. So you use your hydrogen and your sulfuric heavy fuel to get your heavy fuel. And then you run that through an oil cracker to get cracked heavy fuel. And then you run that through a distillation tower. And you will get out of 100, amount, 100 liters of cracked heavy fuel, you'll get 5 lubricant, 10 naphtha, 30 toluene, 80 refinery gas, which is good to run through a gas turbine, light fuel at 40, and a tiny pile of hydrated coal dust. So you will get your lubricant and your fuel out of the cracked heavy fuel. Plus you'll get extra fuel from this and a lot of gas that can be burned in either a multi-black gas turbine or one of these single block gas turbines. So you're definitely going to want to have a good infrastructure set up to create that stuff before you build this because this takes a butt ton of titanium. So I hope that helps anybody interested in building one. As usual, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave me a comment, and I'll be glad to help you out the best I can. And with that, I will say adieu for today.